بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن ولا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Years ago when I first like accepted Islam I was out with the brothers from Jamaat MashaAllah and they took me to this brother he had a liquor store and they told me like tell him your story because you know honestly speaking and, and everyone knows this you know conversion it can be kind of rocky you know what I mean it can come with some serious serious challenges so subhanallah I told the brother my conversion story and he was selling like man mad dog 2020 and 40 ounce like he was selling everything it was wild and then he got angry at me I was a little bit passionate too and he said to me like why did you even embrace Islam like why do you even care he was like Prophet Muhammad he was like he was an incredible person and no one will ever be like him so like we're 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 we are exonerated from following his practices we are immune excuse me we have immunity from following prophet muhammad sallam. and that actually kind of bothered me because at that that stage in my conversion like islam was still an ocean a deep ocean and i really didn't know what to do man but then i came across a verse in surat al-ahzab well, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the Prophet وسلم, as Sirajan Munira Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is this bright shining light. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. A torch. Imam al Razi says something so powerful that makes every single one of us the saint and the sinner. When we say La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. We are now responsible for sharing light. Al Razi says that Allah describes the Prophet وسلم, as Siraj and Munira because the torch in the time of the Prophet was a source of guidance for people during the night. It helped them steer clear of danger, it was a source of warmth, it was a source of direction. But most importantly, Ar Razi said that a torch was shared from one tribe to another. So the Prophet being this imminent light that Allah has created, subhanAllah, to be the final messenger, and we being his followers, we are all carrying the light of the Prophet. We are all torch bearers. We are all a port in the storm. We are all a, we are all a place where people can find the Alhamdulillah refuge and direction and safety through the fog of this dunya. Never underestimate the importance of being Muslim, man. Never underestimate what that means for you. No matter the difficulties that you're going through with your family, through your marriage, through your children, through your friends, whatever. You have the light of Muhammad وسلم, ready to be shared in this very difficult, harsh time and bring illumination to a world that is confused and covered in fog. Barakallahu